I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating. And today we have a very interesting email from a viewer. He says that he, basically whenever he talks to girls, there's interest from the start and then suddenly it just disappears. It just vanishes. And he wants to know what's really going on there. And so I actually wrote down a couple huge mistakes that men to, tend to make when they're dating or talking to or trying to attract women into their life. And a lot of men, they don't even know that they're doing these things. And so if you find yourself in a similar position where you... You're pretty good, like you can attract it at the start, but then suddenly it just falls off. Then you probably want to finish this video. And so let's just jump into his question. His name is Drax, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe it's Drax. And he asks, hey man, can you help me out? I guess I can. I guess I have no choice, right? He says, so this almost happens every time I meet a girl. At first, they show that they are interested in me. And then boom, suddenly they just aren't anymore, right? And that could be, I was like, I was sitting here, I read the email and I was like, you know, it's pretty simple, but I was like, actually, it's very complicated because every situation is different. He didn't really give a lot of detail on it, but I'm going to give a lot of dating mistakes that men tend to make and they don't even know that they're giving them that I wrote down in my notes here. And so let's just jump into number one and number one is not screening women. And what this means is that men, they... They, they basically, they lack the ability to, to like filter out the women that are bad for them, right? The women that are not healthy or incompatible with. And a lot of men tend to do this. They try to like, they, they're like, like, let's say you're on a date with a girl and she's like, she's like, you know, I've cheated on every guy that I've ever dated. And the man, and the man sitting at the, t the table, just like, oh, I'm going to make it work. I can make it work. I'm going to be different. Right. And then they get into a relationship and then she ends up fucking somebody else. And it, it's pretty tragic. Actually, it's like. When somebody tells you who they are the first time, when you're with a girl, when you're dating a girl, and you know that she's not compatible for you, you gotta cut them off, right? I don't think that this it's this guy's specific Drex. It's, I don't think it's your position uh, with this one exactly. I think it's something else on here. But with a, guy, a lot of guys, they, they don't know how to scream women out that are bad for them. They just try to get, they're, they're trying to get anything they can get. And that's bad because, it's bad because you're basically just taking whatever apples on the ground, right? Like the rotten apples that are on the ground, you'll, you'll take anything. It just shows desperation at the end of the day. Another big dating mistake that's kind of controversial is pursuing only one woman at a time. And I actually saw this on an article the other day that I read. Uh, it was I forget what it was called. I'll probably link it in the bio before in, in my bio or the description below. But you know, it's like for men, like you need to keep your options open, especially if you're single. You can't just put all your eggs in one basket, especially from the start. And women, they, you know, they, they want to know, women don't like this, but they like to know that a man has other options, right? They like to know that a man is wanted by other women because what person wants something or somebody that nobody else wants, right? Why do you think that Gucci and Lamborghinis and Ferraris are so wanted? It's because everybody wants them, but not a lot of people have them, right? And this is the same with dating is that women want a man that's wanted by other women. They want a man that's wanted by other women because it shows that he is in high demand, that he is high value. And, so, and when a man just puts all his eggs in one basket, he tends to get very, very needy, very, very clingy because that's his only option. And so he's like, if I lose her, then she's gone and I have no other options, right? So it, natu it naturally makes him more clingy, more needy and pushes her away because he's put all his eggs in one basket, basket from the very beginning. It's actually very, very harmful to your dating life if you do this. You know, and it's, it's different when you meet the right person, right? It's different when you meet a girl who you're just like, damn, like, you know, I really vibe with this girl. And naturally, if you meet somebody who you really click with, who you really vibe with, then naturally, you're just kind of trying to you're just kind of fade away from the other women that are in your life. And you're going to only focus on her, right? It's natural to do that when you meet someone very, very good for you who likes you the same amount that you like them. It, it, it's magical when that happens, right? But early on in the relationship or in dating, of course, man, you should keep your options open because... You don't know what's going to happen. It's like you're just kind of letting it come freely, right? And so another big, big dating mistake is it goes kind of both ways. It's it's bringing up past relationships. And this is this is critical because a lot of guys, there's there's two ways that I can really see this. And the first one that bringing up past relationships is asking the woman about her past relationships and getting jealous about it. There's a lot of guys that I coach who get very, very jealous of a woman's past, right? Especially if they haven't dated or had a girlfriend before, they find out that she's been in a couple of relationships, she's probably had sex with a few guys, they get very, very insecure about that. And they get very, very, you know, upset about that. 
and it pushes her away because he's like, oh, he's kind of insecure about himself, you know? And the other way that I see this is that the guy will actually bring up his own past relationships and just talk shit about them, right? And it's like, no, you want to be, you want to put a positive spin on all your relationships. You could say, yeah, it wasn't compatible, like we didn't work out, but you know, like it really made me into the man that I am today. And so, you know, at the end of the day, I don't regret anything, you know? I feel like, like I said, like we weren't compatible with each other, right? We we just didn't work out. Uh, she wanted to do this and I wanted to do this and, and we had to go our separate ways. But, you know, she's probably a great girl. She's doing a great thing. And at the end of the day, that relationship made me into the man that I am today. And so I'm happy that I went through that, right? Put a po positive spin on your past because we are, we are surrounded by people daily who are very negative, who are very toxic on our life. And at the end of the day, you shouldn't bring up your past relationships. If she asks you about your past relationships, put a positive spin on it. You know, it, otherwise, just don't bring it up because it's like, who gives a fuck about the past? Focus on the girl that's in front of you right now. Focus on that because that's what that's all that matters right now. Let's see. <sighs> dating mis another big dating mistake is when the man is being too submissive. It's also called supplication. Basically, when you know, you're talking to a girl and while you're talking to her, she's basically saying, she's like, oh, like, I like this kind of music. And like, let's say that she likes country music and you like, you like R&B or you, you like rap or you like something else, rock and roll. And, and she's like, oh, I like country. And you're like, oh my God, that's my favorite too. Right. Every time she says something, she's like, oh, me too. He's like, oh, me too. Me too. Oh, I like that too. Oh, that's my favorite. Like you like cheesecake ice cream with gummy bears and, and chocolate chips and all this bullshit, exact amount, oh, me too, exactly the same. She's going to be like, God, this guy's such a fucking pussy, right? It's not going to turn her on. It's like, you got to you gotta stand for something for yourself. You got to polarize yourself. You got to stand for something. That's what makes you attractive because if you just agree with what everyone says, yes, people will like you, but they're never going to feel those strong emotions for you that, that are going to create attraction. One of the biggest dating mistakes, the next dating mistake is neediness, right? Neediness is basically like the behavior that's classified as too clingy, right? They're constantly trying to get her to fill up his cup with attention. Um, neediness is like, you have to text me back. If you haven't texted me in an hour, I'm going to double text you. That's neediness right there. Uh, let's say that the girl has to, like, she can't make a date. The guy freaks the fuck out about it. He's like, oh, that's rude that I did this for you and you and I, and I did this and that for the date tonight and you canceled on me. That's neediness right there. That pushes her away, right? As a man, you got to be okay. You got to let things come and go as they please. You got to control what you can control and you cannot stress about the uncontrollables. The things that are like, I, like there's this, I'll tell you about it right now. I'm actually working through the same issue with TikTok is that my Q and A on oh my my Q and A in my bio on TikTok. I have like a hundred and something questions on there. People they they put questions in my bio and they ask me questions. And TikTok is being fucking stupid right now because you know it will basically it says there's 134 questions there is what it says and only like 60 pop up and then it's random every time I go on. And so I'm trying to answer people's questions and some of them just disappear. And it's like. That's something that I feel like I can control, but I can't. It's, it's an uncontrollable thing. It's an uncontrollable thing I can't control. And so it's like, part of me gets fucking pissed whenever I go on there. I'm like, fuck, I, I need to answer these questions. And then they disappear and they pop up later and then they disappear. And so it's like, I'm trying to track down these questions I wrote scripts for to answer and I can't find them, right? Because they disappear and pop like up randomly. And you know, that's just, it's, it's annoying, but I can't control it. It's, it's, an, it's a bug with the app, right? It's an error with the app that I can't control. And it's like, I, it's something... I got to control what I can control, right? It's very, very important for men to understand that. Let's see. Another huge dating mistake is seeking approval. This is fucking, this is critical, right? It's like when you're on a date with, it's like, let's say the girl's on a date with a man and every, every two seconds on the date, the man's like, are you okay? Like, are you having fun? Like, what's on your mind? Like, are you okay? Like, is it me? Did I do something right? Like the girl hasn't texted him back in three seconds, he's like, are you okay? Like, what was it me? What did I do? Right? He's constantly seeking approval. It's just fucking embarrassing, right? It's just like, you can't be doing that. You got to stop caring what people think about you. It's like, don't say things or do things just to get a woman like to like you. And that goes along with this next dating mistake right here is buying things, right? A lot of guys, when they first meet a woman, and this could be Drax, this could be your case if you're in the club, is that you could be talking to a girl and she's like, oh, buy me a drink. 
she's testing you, right? She's like, go buy me a drink. And the lot of guys are like, okay, because they're thinking like, oh, okay, if I buy this drink, then I'm going to get some fucking pussy. That's what they're thinking. And it's hardly works like that because women, when they see that they can, when you just go buy them a drink, or give them free shit, and they see they can walk all over you. They can get shit for you for free. So why the fuck would they date you? Why, why would they, why would they buy, excuse me, why would they buy the milk for free? Like, why would they buy, why, why would they buy the cow when they're getting the milk for free? That's what it is. Like, it's like when, when they can use you for your shit, why would they buy the cow, right? When they're getting the milk already for free, why would they buy the fucking cow? It makes no sense to them, right? So it's like, you gotta really, you gotta make them invest just as much as you're investing into them. Like if they one the way to pass that test is that if they, if they ask you for a drink, you could say, all right, well, you buy the first round, I'll buy the second round, right? You put it on, make them invest just as much as you or say something stupid, exaggerate it. Like if they're just like, oh, uh, can you buy me a drink? Be like, yeah, I'll buy you a drink, but I'm actually moving on Saturday and I need you to come over and move all my heavy shit for me while I'm kick my feet up and drink lemonade all day long as I'm moving to the beach. So uh, yeah, you, I'll buy you a drink, but you gotta be there Saturday and Sunday. It's very demanding. It's like eight to 8 p.m. every day. So, you know, if you wanna do that, but. I, I can't move the heavy shit. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm too fragile, so it's got to be you. And she's going to start laughing and you just totally forget about the drink at all. Um, a couple more dating mistakes here um, is giving too many compliments. Typical. Guy's just like, oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Comment on Instagram. Like, the guy will DM the girl and he will DM the girl and be like, oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. And it's like, if you have a problem with that, like, you really need to jump into my amp installment because that's where I talk about Literally, I have a list of like guys on, in that program. They sent me uh, screenshots of stories of women on Instagram. And they're just like, how would I slide up to the story, right? How would I slide up to the, sl- the story to make it flirty, to, to really slide into her DMs and make it make her chase me? And that's the kind of thing that I'm doing in the AMP installment. So it's like if you need help with your dating and attraction life, because I have a bunch of videos in there on cold approaching techniques that I cannot talk about on social media, not even in my book. You know, there's a lot of shit on there that is going to change your fucking life. With especially in business, influence, attraction, dating, and more. And it's like, if you, you've got to get in that program. And right now there's a free trial. You get all, a lot of the stuff on there for free for seven days. And so it's like, I really don't know why you're not in there. I'm probably going to take that down in the next couple of days. But, um, okay. Last two. Dating mistake. I don't know whether this is like nine or ten maybe at this point. Uh, but it's bragging, right? A lot of guys, they'll go on a date and they'll try to show off their, their nice car keys. They'll try to show off their iced out chain or rings and they'll they'll try to show off their money they'll be like yeah i live in this neighborhood that's gated community like thinking that bragging and showing off their stuff is going to get the woman to it may get the woman if she's a gold digger to want to sleep with you right i'm sure that everyone knows a gold digger everyone knows someone who likes the money who chases the money but that's not going to consistently make them attracted to you long term they may fuck you for one night and they're like, well, I got this guy. So I'm time to move on to a different person who has more gold. That's why it's called a gold digger, right? And it's like, don't brag about yourself. Instead of bragging about yourself or talking about yourself, you should be focused on the other person. Make them open up to you. Make them tell you tell you about them. That's what's going to make them want you, actually. It's been, because they're like, damn, this guy's listening to me talking about myself. Like, it's fucking amazing, right? Okay. And finally, the last mistake is being predictable. And this could be your situation, Drax. I talk about it in my book and in my program, Waking the Core of Man and in the AMP installment, that women, they want a mystery. They want to chase you. And it's like, if you need to know how to be more mysterious, then you really need to read my book at least because I talk about in that book how to make really any girl chase you. If you need that ability, then you really have to hop into my book. But women love that shit. They don't want you to be predictable. They want to be on an adventure, in a romance story, in a romance novel. It is critical if you want to be the most attractive version of yourself. And so Drax, I hope this helped you, man. I know it did. I offered a lot of value in there. And so make sure if you need extra help, you can work with me one-on-one or you can jump into my AMP installment, my inner class, or into my book. I hope to see you in one or all three of those things. I'm Sonic Kim, America's Face of Dating. I will see you next time.